Hey everybody, it's me Bakisa and welcome back to our channel here at the Canva Cafe. Thank you for coming back for another tutorial. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. So let's get started. Hey everybody, it's me Bakisa and welcome to the Canva Cafe. And if I sound a little funny, it's because I'm a little under the weather. The one day I decided to do my vlog, my voice is sounding like a frog. So please excuse my voice. Um, I just wanted to come here because I know y'all are not used to seeing my face. And I wanted to um, add some new things to the channel. And if you ever paid attention to my intro, it always says that we're going to do Canva, design, beauty, fashion. Only because I started off in the beauty industry. I'm also a licensed cosmetologist and I used to make wigs and things like that. Hence why I make um, flyers for the beauty industry. So this um, little mini behind the scenes is going to be how I um, prep to make, not to make, how I prep my um, photos for when I make flyers. So uh, you're going to see a little bit behind the scenes of how I um, do my own photo shoot, my home photo shoot, and then how I edit. Do I show how I edit? I don't think I show how I edit. <laughs> Let me not tell lies. Um, so you'll see some pictures of me behind the scenes as I set up my background, as I do a little bit of my makeup, as I pop my wig on, you know. Um, so let me know if you like this type of content. I didn't just want to do a regular flyer tutorial um, like how I normally do when I screen record. And I have to get used to vlogging or whatever. And so I may not always be looking where I'm supposed to be looking because I'm semi-shy. <laughs> but um, let me know if you like this type of content. And thank y'all for liking and subscribing. Hopefully my voice will be better in the rest of the voiceover. But I just wanted to come on here while I still have my little face on before I took my face off. Um, yeah, so... I hope y'all enjoy and don't forget to leave your um, comments in the comment section any other tutorial ideas that you have Lord and if some and I'm a nurse too so why can't I fix my voice quick I was I don't know what happened to my voice I was what was I doing I was taking photos um I got a phone call I was talking and then all of a sudden I noticed my voice just like got away from me so um I'm, so I'm not really trying to use it too much but um look try look at this and yeah so thank y'all for watching love y'all and watch the rest of the tutorial tu the rest of the tutorial so now you can put a face to the voice when i do my voiceovers anyway love y'all bye so here's a background screen that i got from five and below um uh, I haven't used it yet, but the quality is kind of like a plasticky vinyl. So just so you know, if you've ever used it, let me know down in the comments. So here I'm just assembling my backdrop um, stand. And if you want, I will leave in the um, description box the link to the stand and to a few other things that I use. Um, it's really easy to assemble. Oh, you see, I got my voice back. Ah. Then I'm going to show you what it looks like with that five and below green screen. It's not long enough or wide enough for full body shots, but it's really meant for when you're sitting down to use it as a background for like maybe your Zoom or recording your YouTube videos. <laughs> the next one my daughter got for me from Amazon, I believe. Um, it's brown and it's kind of like a paper material. It's not quite fabric So I don't think you can steam out the wrinkles It's good for just taking a photo and then you could just remove your image, you know your background image It is wide and it is long and you know, so 
And before I started using backdrops, I used my dining room wall. Ta-da! Okay, so here's some behind the scenes of me doing my makeup, prepping for this photo shoot, me throwing on my wig. And yes, it's a wig that I made when I used to make wigs and I do do my own makeup as you can see. Now, if you would like me to do a dedicated tutorial on how to do your makeup, you know, the important things that you need for your photos, you know, products I use, let me know. And shout out to my t-shirt, Those People Job, because one day I'm going to quit Those People Job. And I'll link um, my t-shirts down below too. Why not? So I'm ready. Oh, okay, let's go, girl. So here is just me setting up so you can see just using my dining room wall, what I used to use before. And I'm doing several positions, you know, pointing, different things that I'm going to want to use for my flyers. And then a quick costume change. And you see, I have my little um, remote in my hand, so I'm able to take my own photos without any, you know, without any assistance. And my ring light, you know, I just have my phone there. And now we move on to that brown backdrop, and it's really the perfect height and width for me. And what I'm going to do later on, of course, you'll see, all I do is just move, um, remove myself or remove the background so that I just have, you know, a transparent picture of myself. So... Another tip is I do have some sheets that's that color that I could have used and then all I had to do was steam it, you know. So now time for props. So I'm going to do a few photos using my laptop and a few little videos. And this is what the video looks like and I'll probably use it for something else. So let me know. And I use face app for um, my photos because even though I look one way in person when I take um, when I do my makeup, but when I take my pictures, it doesn't come out the way I want because I am not a photographer and I, you know, I'm still learning about camera lighting and things like that. So I use face app and as you can see, it doesn't look too far from what I originally looked like. And in the videos, you can see my makeup does look like that. But when I take my photos with that bright ring light, it kind of um drowns out you know or washes out a lot of the makeup and the color so i just use that to put it back in and this is what my photos look like after i've edited them with the face app and i've got 50 bajillion photos ready for my flyers and for my my branding so let me know what you think in the comments about my photos See, I told you I took a bajillion pictures. <laughs> so now it's on to, the on to the tutorial. So you can just look and watch and I'll try to come in every now and then. And see, I just took the background out of my photo that I used. So it helps to have a solid background. So when I get ready to do things like that. Um, here's a background of the city of Charlotte. I think that's what I use because it's for my class that I'm doing here live and it's actually on the day today that I'm doing this voiceover. And I decided to make it a little bit transparent so that it's just faintly in the background and that other um, picture I use with the little laptop and things like that. And I'm going to leave that on the screen so you can see the name of some of the elements that I used. But like I said, I'm still using most of the information from a previous flyer. So some of the stuff I will cut and paste to save time. And I'm just using this rip edge as like a blur or like a something to join the two images. And I'm just changing the color of the background so I can see where the lines meet up. So that's the only reason why I'm changing the color. Plus I'm just showing you color options of, you know, your design. So I'm going to put me back and I'm probably going to move me because, you know, when I'm doing these tutorials, sometimes I'm doing other things and I have to stop and come back and child. So of course I'm going to add a shadow to myself to make it a little bit more dimensional. And I kept flipping it because I couldn't decide which way I wanted the face, you know, child.
So now I use a separate page to write my, um, my text. And like I said, I'm just copying from my last flyer, um, some of the wordage so I wouldn't have to hold y'all too long. Plus I didn't want to have to think about what, you know, I wanted to write on my flyer. And I'm just going to tweak a few things, maybe change, um, not maybe I am going to change the date of this class and the colors and things like that. So I'm just cutting and pasting. I'm just putting them here so I have them. And I'm gonna just change out the colors because this time I'm using it on a white background. So I want the colors to be able to pop. Let me know if you would like some more vlog style, behind the scenes, tutorial kind of content. So here I'm just getting this keyboard. And I wasn't sure which keyboard I used initially. So one already had the background out and I believe the other one was from a photo and I took the background out of it. So you'll just see me trying two separate keyboards to see which one I like better. Because one I believe had just all white. So I thought it was more aesthetically pleasing. And then I think the other one had like lines between the keys and I couldn't decide. So I'm just, you know, putting both of them and then I'll decide which one I want which I should have decided that before I filmed the tutorial but it just goes to show you my thought process that I'm not as fabulous as y'all think I am <laughs> and of course I'm gonna add a shadow but I think I I was debating because I like the fact that this keyboard was a little thinner So like I said, y'all can just watch me move them around as I try to decide which one I like. And that's a part of design, just trial and error. So I'm cutting and pasting the words that I already wrote up here so that I can add it to the new flyer at the bottom. And I'm just gonna realign everything to make everything look a little bit more um, cohesive so I'm just lining everything up making them bigger moving them around adding some more text to the bottom then I decide to add this little ripped um, torn paper edge um, for something to help me write on and then I'm going to soften up the image with using this little blur. And I'm going to use it on the top also just to soften my um, image. It just adds a little extra design interest. And of course, you can use a different color if you want to introduce a little bit of color. And that's the word um, that I use, or that's the name of it if you want to figure out which element I use. So like I said, with that little blur corner, you can, you know, change it to a different color just to introduce more color to your uh, flyer if you want to tie in your brand colors a little bit more. And now I'm just switching out some colors over the fonts. And I'm going to go down here and I wanted to use a little wine glass and you'll see as I put it on the other page, um, I didn't like it. <laughs> I don't know. I could have left it, but I just didn't feel like it. I just didn't want to. <laughs> so I got rid of it and I decided to use the wine bottle and the alcohol or the wine that's spilling out of it as kind of like a underliner under the word. So that's what I ended up doing. And I'm just adding a few other design elements like that little pencil. And I was going to use it to divide the date, but I didn't like it. But I wanted y'all to see that I didn't like it. <laughs> don't forget if you're finding value in this tutorial, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. So the design is basically done. I'm just going in, I'm looking to see what needs to be tidied up. And all you have to do is just go back in. And now, of course, the fun part is I show you how you turn one flyer into another one. So I just changed out the colors for added 
you know, added extra flyer. I played around with the fonts and the effects on the fonts and different things like that. So this is just for just extra creativity that I'm showing you guys. And I did put a shadow behind that torn paper. And if this tutorial was helpful, don't forget to please give me a thumbs up. Love you. Bye.